I'm Tim Davis, DevOps Advocate with M0. And this week, we're talking about TerraScan by Accurix. Now, this is yet another security configuration tool for Terraform, but this one's actually pretty cool in the fact that not only can you use it in CLI mode, which you can then automate into pretty much any platform or you know service that you'd like, but they also have a server mode where you can use it as an API server and query against it. And of course, you can not only take the stock configuration that it has, you can go through and customize that configuration with a configuration file, and you can actually use in-file instrumentation, so you could then, say, add specific checks directly into your infrastructure as code files, like your Kubernetes YAML files or your Terraform files, to check for specific things or ignore specific things. So let's jump in some code and see what that looks like. Now, I have some Terraform files here that are actually vulnerable on purpose, so we're going to make sure not to do that Terraform apply here. So let's run TerraScan just by itself. And the available commands here, we have help, we have init, scan, server, and version. And then we have some flags that we can do for that. So let's actually jump through and we'll do Terra scan and we'll do scan. And we'll specifically point out that you can specify a provider if you want, or you can just leave it blank and see what happens. So let's run this. All right, if we look at the summary here, it's gone through and it's run directly against all of the infrastructure as code files that we had in there. Um, there's a, it says IAC type all because we didn't specify here. Policies validated. So we had 169 policies that it validated against and 38 of them were a violation. Now we had five lows, 13 mediums, and 20 highs. And if we actually jump through here, we can see things like uh, in the main.tf file, we have security group attached to launch configuration is wide open to the internet and this can be related to a reconnaissance phase. So we can kind of see exactly what's going on. We can see what line it is. We can see, you know, what level it is here. Um, we can see ensure target group uses HTTPS to ensure end-to-end -end encryption. This is a medium. This is on line 162 of the main.tf. Now we could go through, we can fix all of these different issues, or if there's certain low things like ensure VPC flow logging is enabled in all VPCs, if we don't care about this, then we can take that configuration file and just go and take that out. Kind of like a git ignore. If you have any more questions, you want to kind of see this in action, it's a super easy install. I did it with Brew. Um, feel free to check them out on GitHub if you like it. Feel free to give them a star. And of course, be sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you can see what we're playing with next week.